good, Ventress. Mm. Mm. You're... You're the giant mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you... Oh! Oh, shoot. A human girl. And she's holding a bow. Should we... Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost... familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Ooh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Did she come alone? Uh, where's Keep she... Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well... The trail goes over the broken bridge, so... But see, Borvi? The bridge is broken! It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borka. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> I wonder if this, this terrible, mighty dragon and, uh, lost spirit I saw a while ago could be linked somehow. Did you happen to see it too? Oh, a lost spirit, huh? I'm afraid I didn't. The restless souls reveal themselves only to whom they choose. And sometimes they can carry lost memories. Lost memories? Yes, the ones you both share. You have to follow the spirit and relive the memories so the lost soul can finally rest. Some say it's nearly impossible that you may lose everything, including your life. But trust me, it's worth the risk. Because by helping the spirits, you might help yourself too. Hmm. We all carry our own burdens. Ah, uh, yes. Such as the fire drake? Dragons used to be something you would rather hear about from the elders. Stories about beasts breathing fire, eating sheep, but honey. The beast, this bloody hole eater, built its nest somewhere in our forest. Sometimes it sticks its ugly head from a cave and demands offerings. Honey's enough for it now. But the spring's just begun. It might grow hungry for meat. Or mushrooms. What a pile of rubbish! There is no bloody dragon. Just greed, vice, and deception. Honey is liquid gold. It rules the world, corrupts people. No wonder someone's using that for their own benefit. And we still can't afford to lose a single drop anymore. Hmm. Guess I won't know who's right until I find out on my own. It seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge, so maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face. Even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm. Such as... a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar? <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure I am. 
Hang in there, Zora. Wherever you are. can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. I think I knew this place. I was here, like... And again, I mean, painful memories. Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr... Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. Beholders protesting. Lost souls reading around. Maintenance. Us... You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes! That's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. Demons aren't going to make themselves, are they? Lord of Thunder, may your light show me the way. Keep me free as the birds on your sky. Statue. We spilled those to ward off the winter. Days of yore. It's the one we were making a year ago with Zora and Jagwe.
You could always shoot the hive down. Wish upon a shooting star. <sighs> Finders keeper. You can do it. Interesting stew out of it back at the hut. And finally become a hero in your own story. <laughs> there a peasant have you lost your way to the village serf oh what a gallant steed you are bovi boko sent me to help you with that honey case huh. he sent you <sighs> well then it seems the time has come to earn your valor squire we need to stop that filthy dragon from gorging on our people We'll serve it some proper justice instead! Squire, huh? <clears throat> How do you propose we proceed, my lord? I have designed a special piece of siege machinery. A work of wonder. We will push it into the dragon's lair, where it shall bestow God's will upon the beast. The problem is with still missing black powder. I need someone small and sneaky for the job. <sighs> Something tells me this is where I step in. Correct. You'll need to retrieve it from a bloody outlaw's lair. Rebel God's curse his name. Slippery Jack's friend? Why won't you go, sir? Well, uh... <laughs> Good one. Rebel is one of the cursed, of course. And I... I'm a grand. Without further ado, shall we free the land of the dragon's reign? Have you... Have you ever seen the beast? But of course! It sticks its ugly head from one of the pits. Uh, sometimes. Not to mention all the unholy sounds and poisonous fumes. Mm-hmm. Right. The Grand and the Cursed. Borvi and Jack said something about that, too. 
So there's two kinds of you mushrooms? Can't you work together to defeat the mighty dragon? Oh, the bloody cursed mushrooms hate all the law-abiding citizens. In their drunken minds, they became convinced that being just and virtuous is too boring for them. Alas, virtue is persecuted by the wicked more than it is loved by the good. And the dragon? That's a foe of all the virtuous. I think I'm good to go. Uh, I, I mean... I shall not wait any longer to obtain the most wondrous artifact from the Defiler's Domain. <sighs> Splendid! Retrieve the powder! When you're done, you'll find me at my... Anything wrong? Can you hear it? The enemy's approaching! Stand and fight for your life, Squire! <sighs> there are too many of them. This thing stuck on my hand. You've it's... almost figured it out. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. One day you'll get the most out of it. I, I, I don't think I can repeat. The cauldron has all the answers. I'll try. shot with the gauntlet's energy. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. Now, what was it the Russian wanted? Before our might, puny mortal, soon the rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I... I beg your mercy, my queen empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement, so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Those rivers of blood don't really sound too good to me. There will be no alliance between us, Aunt Queen. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror. Wall. Curious. One day it'll shatter. Or you will. Keep moving. with a bag.
This one has seen this and that. Trust me, you'll just need to make it talk somehow. Oh, a page inside one of the fabled lost pages of the ancient grimoire. It's heavy and hard. Play? the evil roses steal Miser's eyes, forcing them to look at their riches from afar forever. But no punishment should last that long. Bobak, minus a mortal soul, makes a shellock. Mm-hmm. And? Their soul- Take that, you bunch of crooks. Ant invasion called off. At least, ran here. 